Hello guys, welcome back to Sholiver Celebrity News and Updates where we bring you the right update and all of what you will like to know. If you are new here or if at all you are just passing by for the first time, please take some minutes of your time to subscribe, like, comment and hit the notification button so that you will not miss in any of my uploads. Even though Coco Gauff made a breakthrough with her campaign last year, things didn't go well for her. A lot was expected of her among today's top stars in women's tennis. However, after her victory at the US Open in 2023, Gorf suffered from inconsistent performances. At the recently ended Australian Open, she was eliminated from the tournament in the semi-finals and lost to the crowned champion of this year in Sabalenka. As Gorf suffers a decline in form, renowned coach Eric Riley pointed out a common weakness in her game. Coco Gauff has a strong support system in Brad Gilbert and Felipe Ramirez, but for one reason or another, she constantly suffers from weakness that affects her performance. That's what Riley said about Gauff. Recently, renowned tennis coach Eric Riley joined the Tennis Channel's Inside In podcast. During the conversation there, he talked about his career coaching some of the best players in the business. He also talked about Coco Gauff's game. While highlighting her talents, Riley gave Gorf a suggestion to improve her backhand. Riley said Brad Gilbert's got Coco Gorf. Okay. But I mean, that forehand's got to get better, Coco's got a chance to move to anyone well, on any surface play and particularly because she moves so well. And she's gritty, you know, I'm saying. The American sensation's weakness was clearly highlighted during her Australian Open season. While she prevailed in the previous rounds, Arina Sabalenka took advantage of Gorf's weak forehand and outclassed her in the semi-finals. Furthermore, much has been said about this glaring weakness of Coco Gorf in the tennis world. Last year, former world number no. 5 Jimmy Arias also pointed out Gorf's inadequate forehand. During an interview in 2023, the former American tennis star analyzed the error in Coco Gorf's forehand. While Jimmy Arias felt the young American could work on it technically, the real challenge was on the mental side. He said it's going to be difficult because now it's mental too. She hears about it all the time. So there is a combination of things that makes it more difficult. However, Gorf and her team will be working hard as she prepares for major tournaments to come. Will Gorf manage to overcome her weakness and achieve success in the coming tournaments? Let us know what you think in the comments below. Thank you for watching to the end, if you have something to tell us about this video leave your comment on the comment section below. Your comments matters a lot. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video and share. See you next time.